So this is my PVC flute. It has uh, a little bit of a blowhole at the top, which I carved out of a slip cap. It has this joint for tuning. It slides in and out a little bit. I put some graphite on it to lubricate it. There's probably something better than that, but it works for me. And it has six tone holes at the other end. So the reason it has six tone holes is because, well, they're chromatically tuned, so you have a tritone of range that you can get by playing each of the fingerings with just one note, and then you can complete a chromatic scale if you apply the third harmonic, which is a perfect fifth above the second harmonic. So then you can start a scale like this, and then complete it with the fifth. And the idea is you can play the uh, second, third, and fourth harmonics like this. One interesting thing about having an instrument based off of roots and fifths, though, is that when you play any sort of scale, you play it in tetrachords, more or less. For example, starting on D-flat, you just play the same pattern twice. So I started all of these scales on D-flat. And, as it so happens, D-flat is the lowest note that this instrument can play. Well, can practically play, because there's a hole in its range, but you could actually play the D-flat an octave below, but there's no use in it because it's barely audible, it's like... versus its actual lowest note. Its highest note doesn't really actually exist because there are lots of harmonics that you can use and the overtone series goes on infinitely so theoretically you can play infinitely high but well I can't play infinitely high but I can get about two octaves of range and I played most of that in the introduction So yeah, that's about all you can do with this flute. Um, well, all you can do at my level, having practiced for less than a week. But uh, I may make a future video explaining my logic a bit further if you are very confused. And if you aren't, that's great, but eh, I don't know. I mean, that's all for now.